okay now in this tutorial what we are going to see is that intent service what is that intent service right if you check the documentation right there are two you can create the services by extending either service directly or extending intent service see this subclass of the service that uses worker thread to handle all the start request what it does it uses worker thread to handle all the start request one at a time see this is the best option if you don't require that service handle multiple request simultaneously at a one time right at a one time implement the on handle me method on handle intent method which receives the intent for which start request has appeared this thing can you see i have created the intent service now how to create the intent service you can check that go over here go in your module right and into your module right you can just right click and say new service and intent service second option you are going to select which is nothing but what intent service is right okay now we have already have the activity so what i will do is that here you can say private void and say simple service or start simple i can say start simple you can do over here and i'll copy this code over here start simple and here you can say private void say stop simple so it is going it is for stopping so here you can call this method next time right if you want to check the output okay now here i would be writing few more method private void start intent service right it's intent you can see intent and intent is equals to new intent i'm going to create new intent and i'm going to provide this and my intent service over here dot class right and here you can say start activity intent sorry start service intent here you can say something start service intent right and on the tap of btn okay i can call what you can see is that start start intent service you can say this thing start intent service right i'm trying to start the intent service and if you look the intent service this is the intent service it's an abstract class and only abstract method is on handle intent only abstract method is nothing but what on handle the intent we are going to call or whenever you are going to say start service this method is going to call this method on handle intent make sure that right on handle intent and this intent and you whatever intent you are passing this intent are same exactly same this intent and this intent are same so from here you can pass some action category data that's also fine so you can receive it over here as a metadata of the intent okay then what is the difference between this right it uses the worker thread it uses the worker thread so if you are over here and if you are writing new thread right if you are writing new thread and here you are creating some runnable object so this is same thing is happening inside what you can say this same thing is happening inside your handle intent or your intent service so intent service takes the help of what you can say thread worker thread intent service works in the worker thread so this and that is same so i'm not doing that thing over here right and that is nothing but the intent service and it is for the sequential request handling one by one until and unless one is not going to finish this is not going to be finished right at that time you are going to use the intent service so consider that if you want to download the 10 files you are not going to start 10 file download at a time one by one if it is a sequential you can start services in the that manner bubbling manner first you would be starting download first 
then download second, then download third, then download fourth. If that is a scenario, then you can use the intent service in such cases. Right? But the starting procedure for the intent service would be the same. Let's try to get the output, but we, we did nothing over here. Right? We did nothing over here. So on just OK tap, what we are going to do is that we are simply why? what's happening why it is okay see what was the error so this thing creates or this thing calls constructor of the intent service without parameter parameter right and we have written the only parameter or uh, or we have written the only parameterized constructor that's why it was giving the instantiation exception so what we did <coughs> to the super we have passed some data over here like hello or you can say my intent service and you have called that constructor parent constructor in the default constructor of this one and same right do this thing or do that thing now this is typical setup of the my intent service or if you want to work with the intent service your service should extend to the intent service in this manner and this whatever you will write over here right whatever you will write over here that would be executed in the worker thread make sure that right it would be executing in worker thread right and detailed documentation is present over here see extending the intent service class what happened and extending to the service class what happens right they have explained that nicely over here so whatever we have discussed same thing they have told you over here right so this is about creating the services by extending to the service class and by extending to the intent service class. How do things are different over here? So you can write your heavy logic over here, right? Which will communicate with the server, which can transport the data to the web, which can transport your location to the server, location tracking, downloading the PDF, downloading one of the movie. You can write that code over here exactly, right? okay that's it about the started services so in the next tutorial in the next video i'm going to start with the ai dl android interface definition language which is nothing but the bounded services right that's all about the services started services well thanks for watching if you like our videos kindly subscribe us on the youtube